What's up guys, it's Nick here. I am back with another video and now I'm rolling out these videos like crazy every single day. Um, but today I have another tutorial for you guys. It's another tech tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak the iPhone 4S on iOS 9. But, or actually not specifically the iPhone 4S, but how to jailbreak any jailbreakable version on any device that supports that jailbreak with 3U tools. So, um, let me describe a couple things first. So, you're probably wondering why have I not made that video of me with the iPhone 4S? I thought I was going to live with it for a week. Well, I ran into some complications. And this was a problem that I actually should have probably realized before I even said all that. So, <clears throat> I was going to insert in my SIM card to put it into the iPhone 4S. And this thing uses bigger SIM cards, it doesn't use the small ones like the iPhone 5 and newer did. And so, okay, I figured I'd use an adapter. But the thing is, this never came with the SIM card in it. So, and then I have a, a SIM card in my 3GS, so I figured, okay, I'll pop that SIM card out and replace it with the little mini Sprint one, and I'll put it in here. But the problem was, with the at and SIM card, it was one whole big adapter altogether. It was not actually, you know, like I couldn't actually remove that little mini at and SIM card and put a SIM card in because it was all mixed into one. So if I did, if I tried doing it, I'd break the whole thing all together. So <clears throat> I figured that's a big no-no and I cannot do it. And I'm not going to live with this without service because I right now need my phone for some stuff. And so, yeah, that's why I, I, that's why I didn't do it. I'm not going to do the challenge. I'm sorry, guys. I, I noticed, I'm sorry I disappointed y'all. I know y'all probably hate me. Y'all probably want to smash the dislike button right now on my tech review. But, um... At least now it gave me a chance to do more tutorials that I've been wanting to do forever now. And I mean, I, I, it's a good thing I kind of screwed myself over there because you don't have to live with it and suffer with this. So, yeah, and I, and I can also film more clips of it on different firmwares and downgrade and mess around with it. Because there's so many possibilities you can do these older 32-bit devices. Especially on this one in particular, I've always wanted to mess around with because... There's so much history behind this phone, but yeah, we'll get into that later. <clears throat> so anyways, um, yeah, so that's what this video is about. So I'm going to jailbreak my iPhone 4S on iOS 9.3.6. I'm going to show you guys that it is. Well, actually, the method I'm going to be doing can work for any device, for, for any iOS device that has a, a supported jailbreakable firmware. Um, for example, if you want to do this on iPhone 4S on iOS 8.4.1, for example, you can do that. But and then the example of it is the iPhone 6 on iOS 8.4.1. That uh, does not that that does not have a supported jailbreak. So it only works on devices that have uh, jailbreak supported firmwares. So basically, um, I, I think somewhere below iOS 5, I know that works there. I don't know if anything will like around iOS 4 below will work. But this is an iPhone 4S, as you guys know. And just to show you guys that it is an iPhone 4S, it is running iOS 9. So, I'm going to show you guys what you guys need. Uh, sorry, I've been talking a bit too much. And what you guys are going to need to actually do this. So, you're going to use three U tools. This is a tool that will help you do it. You need a Windows computer. Now, you may see that I'm, current, I'm on my MacBook Air and I have Windows on it. Now, I'm not pirating anything or I didn't download anything illegally. Uh, luckily for me... Uh, Mac will let you download Windows and run it on boot camp. So I made a tutorial on how to do that. And uh, I'll put that card up here. You are going to need a genuine Apple cable. Not one of those cheap ones because uh, it won't work. So how I know my cable is genuine because I've done this before uh, on my sister's iPad and iPad 2. And it worked. And with the other cable I have, it will not work. So yeah, I actually promised this tutorial months ago. On the last one I did, this one right here, well, this wasn't the last one I did, but on this one I did say, because I did tutorial back in May on how to jailbreak iOS 6 on the iPhone 3GS. In that video I said that, um, you know, one day I would do, that soon I would do the um, jailbreak for the A5 devices on iOS 9, and I would do it on the iPad 2 on my sister's iPad, because I was going to get her an iPod, but I never ended up getting her one for a reason I'm not going to say. But I do have another A5 device, which is the iPhone 4S. So I can easily do this quickly. Now, I want to warn you a few things. <clears throat> so back up your device because sometimes you can run into errors. It's very unlikely you'll run into errors, but you want to back up your device just in case, if, especially if you have a lot of stuff on here. You really don't want to lose all that. So yeah, just make sure you back up your device. And now 
let's go into the computer. Um, can I zoom it in? So it says this drive is almost full. Okay, just ignore that one. So you see that it's plugged in. So you want to go up here where no up here where it says Flash and JB. Oh, um, okay. So I have an update for three U tools. I'll do that later. So Flash and JB. That's the one you want to do up here. So here you go. You, you come up to this menu and there is a list of other options. So right here on the right, you want to click here on Jailbreak. So here it says the following iDevices and version supported Jailbreak iOS 5.1.1, 6.789. Okay, so this doesn't support anywhere below iOS 5.1.1 and anywhere above iOS 13.3. So that's the, those are the, um, and it has to be on the device that has a supported jailbreak on those firmwares. Like I already said, the iPhone 4S has a supported jailbreak for 8.4.1, but not the iPhone 6 and 5S. Um, so yeah, that, that's another thing you guys want to look out for. Um, and also if you have a newer device anywhere up above on iOS 13.3 or anywhere above that it won't work. So again, you want to need a genuine Apple cable. So if you're doing this, uh, this, this can work on again, any device that's a supported jailbreak. So anywhere, it won't work on anywhere below iOS 5.1.1. So be aware for that, but all right. So here it says step to jailbreak. It ensured the device was activated or yes, there's kind of a long thing. You don't really actually, um, you know, you don't actually have to read it, but okay. So you see this menu and all you want to do is click run jailbreak. And that's all you have to do. It'll be super quick. So I'm going to load my device up. So it's going to come up with that little thing right there. Um, it's coming up. Something says, okay, said jailbreak failed. So I don't know why it might be because I have to actually update my three U tools. Yeah. That might be why, because it worked before, so I think I have to update three tools. So let me do that real quick. All right, so it just got done updating. It was pretty fast. So we want to go back here. Um, it might, mine's going to be a little slow because I just kind of, oh, I'm sorry, wrong one. Flash and JB. So you want to try this again and just click run jailbreak. So for the tether jailbreaks, another separate app will be able to come up. So, okay, said jailbreak failed. So this is a little interesting. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's causing it to fail. It's definitely not the cable. I know that works because I was able to do it uh, before on the iPad. And actually, they kind of tried this once at first, see if I could play Cool Booter, but it kind of corrupted it. So, all right, let me re let me click retry. If that doesn't do anything, then maybe that might potentially okay. So it says jailbreak failed again. So it's definitely not the cable. Maybe it's the position my cable's in. So let me actually um, cancel this and let me actually um, switch the ca the cables. I'm actually, cause I have it. So I have a bunch of USB ports. There is one of them this side. Let me disconnect that one. So this is also another way I can tell it's genuine. Cause this is how they used to have it. This is like their older cables from like 2003. So I'm gonna plug the phone back in here. So there we go. It's gonna, so it's plugged in. So there we go. It says um, status ready. And it's just recognized my device up here, iPhone 4S. Let's try that. So hopefully it'll work. So, okay. Hmm. This is interesting. So, okay. I don't know why this keeps coming up every time I do that. But for some reason, the jailbreak is not working, which is kind of surprising because it was able to work before. I actually, like I said, I tried this before and I don't know why it does not want to work this time. I don't know if I potentially might have, cor actually, let me try to restart the device. I feel like it could be something on with the phone. So I'm actually restart the phone and see if that potentially will do something. All right. So it's been a couple minutes. I let the phone kind of turn on and just kind of let it sit there and kind of load itself. So I'm going to reopen everything because I feel like that might have kind of, um, all right, so let's run the jailbreak one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to restart the computer. So it's currently, so it failed again. Hmm, this is interesting. I don't know why the hell this keeps coming up. It could be that, I'm gonna see that. Hmm, let me see. So it, every time it says that, it always says threat found. Maybe it's blocking something. I feel like that might be what it is. Um, oh, that's what it is. It's not allowing it, so. Yeah, um, so let me see if I can try it again. So let's retry it. Probably because it, it might have probably could have potentially blocked. 
from a virus or something. I don't know if it's the computer or if it's the cable. I definitely know. All right, so allow on device. Let me see if that might potentially do something. All right, now if I retry it one more time, because I don't know what's going on. It's usually, oh, okay. So went a little further than what it was the last time. Let's see. So if I currently kind of zoom it and show you guys. So right now it says generating on task two. So usually this wasn't what happened before. Um, but if you do run into a problem, check your antivirus thingy because it might be the exploit is potentially causing something in the, the thing that triggers the antivirus, um, you know, the system that like, is trying to prevent a virus. But if, I don't think this is going to cause anything. But um, yeah, if you do get that error message, you just saw what I did. Just click on that little where it says the virus and threat found. Just click allow it. And then that'll probably do something because now it's getting further. It says come current status on task three. So when it finishes, I believe, so the jailbreak app for iOS 9.3.6 is Phoenix. So actually right now, as soon as I said that, it now says installing Phoenix jailbreak tool. So, oh, there we go. The, the jailbreak has completed, as you can see now the app has just showed up on the phone. So it says current status on test. Okay, jailbreak installed. So here it says, Please continue proceeding on your i on your i device. So, if you're actually trying to jailbreak iOS nine, let me show you guys what you have to do because the app won't open at first when you click it. So you're going to click to click to about or settings general and then somewhere device management. So click here. You want to click trust it, and I just let it do its thing. So there you go. So now I got the app. I can run it. So it's here it says not jailbroken. So I'm going to click prepare for jailbreak. Accept. Uh, free mixtape available. I don't know what this is. Just click proceed with the jailbreak. Begin installation. Um, then I think some other thing. Yeah, use provided offsets. Um, and oh, uh, what the hell just happened? All right. So I think the device is restarting. So that's making me believe. Oh, I just opened up a video by an accident. Uh, so that's make. So there, I saw a little line pop up in the middle, and the thing just dipped to black. So it's making me believe that um that it's gonna it's actually going to install Cydia. So I'm gonna see what's up or I'm gonna wait a bit um because this device does take long to power up. So okay so this thing just got recognized. So yeah I'm gonna let it turn on. Alright so the phone powered on so if I slide to unlock okay so I don't think it did jailbreak because usually the boot up time wouldn't take long so I feel like it just kinda restarted the phone so proceed with jailbreak you then dismiss that because that that was a little weird i never actually seen it where the little line comes up and it kind of fades so preparing jailbreak yeah okay this is what i was supposed to see because it just kind of as soon as i clicked that it, it just said um oh yeah you're gonna get this message but don't worry about it uh just there we go so that that's what was supposed to happen it wasn't there was not supposed to be a little line in the middle and just fade to black. All right, there we go. So that's what's supposed to happen. So, uh, yeah, my hand is getting tired of holding this, but I got more tutorials to do. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and um, currently, um, let's, let's wait for this to turn on. Because it kind of already was on and it's kind of installing one little thing, it's just not, I don't think that the boot up time is actually going to take, you know, super long. So, uh, even if it does, I'm just going to stop recording for now. All right, so the phone powered off again. The little line came back on the top and it just faded. So I don't know if it actually installed City or not. Um, I'm going to actually see um, as soon as it powers on. Uh, it, it literally just faded with the little line in the middle. So, yeah, let's wait for this again. All right, phone powered on. Let's see, did it install City? There we go. So now the phone is jailbroken. Oh, okay. So it installed it, but when that little line ran through, um, I think it kind of screwed something up. So it, it, it was able to install Cydia, but um, it kind of just crashed a bit. So I have to kind of do this all over again. Now, don't worry if this happens to you. This is completely normal. Oh, yeah, and that, that happens too. So, um, yeah. So 
if you run into problems like that or into anything like that, it's completely normal. That's what happened. That's what happened to me when I did on my sister's iPad 2. And uh, yeah, so as soon as this powers up again, we should hopefully get into Cydia. All right, phone just powered on again. So hopefully Cydia will work this time. Okay, it's not crashing, so I'm believing, yes, it is going to work. So, um, I just kind of have it on the All right, yeah, ignore that too. Don't worry. If you're going to come up with that issue, with that error message or that, whatever, you get the idea. You're going to come up with that message. So, now the phone is in Cydia. And uh, when you first install Cydia, it's going to ask you update it with, you know, offer, update it, uh, do a complete update for like tweaks and kind of like other things. So, okay, right now it's not. Nothing's loading, so I'm, I'm. I believe that any moment now, I am gonna come up with the with the message that I have to update some stuff. I think it's the changes, um, or something like that, that I have to do a complete upgrade. Because yeah, here we go. Because sometimes, otherwise, um, if you don't do the upgrade, um, your app or Cydia won't work very well. So right now, it's kind of just saying reloading data or that kind of thing. All right, database. So if I go back, yeah, here we go. Two essential upgrades. Do a complete upgrade. Um, otherwise, the Cydia won't work correctly or it won't work as properly if you do a complete upgrade. This is what I've always done. Um, this is what I've always done when, it's, when these types of tutorials. The last one I did, actually with the one I did with iOS 6 and iOS 12, I did that. So that's what you wanna do if you want Cydia to actually work correctly or to function properly now i don't know what will happen exactly if you don't do it uh because i never i, I always do the complete upgrade but the error message just says that you're going to come up with some error messages or not error i'm an idiot that city is not going to work properly um if you don't do the complete upgrade so any minute now um any minute um this thing I think will finish and I don't remember how it was I think you just kind of click done and it's just there the upgrades done yeah there we go or if you just had to restart the kernel so I already did it so I don't need to do that so there we go guys now I am officially jailbroken and now it's time to downgrade but that's for a separate video so yeah I hope you guys um, I hope you guys like these videos so this is the third jailbreak video I've done and my two other videos have exploded. My iOS 6 jailbreak has over 4,000 views and then my iOS 12 has over 1,000 views. So hopefully with this one, I feel like it's gonna get more views too just because a lot of people like to mess around with jailbreaking an iPhone 4S and that kind of thing. And also it'll help for other people trying to jailbreak phones the easy way. I got you with 3U tools. You just wanna make sure you use a genuine Apple cable and if that doesn't work, check your antivirus dinghy. Um, so again, you will need Windows, and if you have a Mac, you can actually install Windows on it um, uh, super easily. That's another tutorial. Check check the cards up above, and then I'll show you guys. But anyways, that's it for this video, guys. So I'm sorry I could not complete the challenge where I would live with this for a week because I ran into complications. But at least I can do other videos with it by jailbreaking it. Now that I did a tech review with it, I have B-roll clips already in iOS 9, so I've been downgraded to iOS 6. Or I always say it, I'll figure something out, but it'll most likely be iOS 6. But alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.